welcome back viewers to another episode of ENC Question Reflection, where you learn truth, knowledge, and understanding. Before we get started, I want to go ahead and remind you to subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already. Hit the notification bell and select all. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, make sure that you like, comment, and share this video. This video is just going to be a, a, just a just a random video, I guess. So I took my kids um, to the park. Well, they don't ever want to go to the park. They always want to go to the football field and play football, which our yard is definitely big enough to do that. But for some reason, the football field makes all the difference. So look, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, you know, a lot of people, you know, there's been a lot of death around um, lately. And so a lot of people will just be like, hey, um, you know, hang out with your, you know, people while you can, or, you know, nobody's promised tomorrow and, um, you know, all this stuff about, and, and that's totally true. You know, you're not, you're not promised tomorrow. And so you definitely want to, you know, end any feuds that you might have with people because, especially people that you care about, because you just don't know if those people are going to be around tomorrow. You don't. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about that. And I went to mommy mode on that one. I'm sitting here watching my boys play football. Um, they're going to be 12 and 13 next week. And, um, well, this month. And then my oldest is going to be 15 in December. So, I'm just watching how much they've grown. And, and I remember how small that they used to be. Parents, do not take for granted the fact that your child is getting bigger and growing older. Eventually, that child is going to be out of your house. Don't take for granted the time that you're given with your kids because I know they get annoying sometimes. Mine get annoying. I know that they sometimes get on your nerves. Um, sometimes they don't necessarily do what you're asking them to do, but you know, you definitely don't want to take that time for granted. Never take time itself for granted. Not only are, is, not only are people not promised tomorrow, so you never know if you're actually going to be able to see your child tomorrow, but beyond that, your child is going to grow up and grow out. They're going to grow out of your house and where you get so annoyed with stuff that they do I'm telling you my biggest trigger with my kids is a, if, a dirty house I despise a dirty house oh I, I, it drives me nuts anything out of place runs me crazy and I keep telling myself you know these kids they keep messing up my house and they keep doing this and, and I keep trying to teach them that this is this I just can't stand it I also have to sit back after I done got on to them and say, there's going to be a day and there's going to be a time that comes when you're sitting in your house and you have no kids. Your house is spotless and you have nothing to do and you're going to miss your kids. So I'm sitting here watching them play. Oh, now they're playing barefooted. You want to see? Uh, let's see if I can flip this around. I bet you I cannot. Well, here. Can you see that? They're way over there. I don't know if you can see them. Can you? They're playing. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know if you can see them. But now they're playing in their bare feet. And <laughs> I remember a time when they weren't so good at playing football and they were a lot smaller and they couldn't catch for nothing and sometimes you just have to sit back and just think about those things because kids can be very very hard to deal with um, I'm sure a lot of parents say that you know my kids get on my nerves they're such a blessing and they're such a joy but they're annoying too they can be aggravating 
they can be frustrating you know they can be oh, over the top overwhelming sometimes I know mine are mine are far from perfect you know we try to keep our house as structured as we can so they kind of know what to expect and know what they can and cannot do but they're getting older and with with time comes new adventures they're discovering new things they're getting new attitudes um, so you could train your child to be nice and pleasant and as soon as they hit a certain age they hit that rebellious stage where they think they know everything it's a part of parenting and it's a part of having kids but just don't make those times just don't take for granted the time that you have with your kids because there could very well be a time when you don't have them. They done grew up. They done, they done got married, got them a wife, if you have boys, or got them a husband. And they're no longer in your household. Now, I can't really do much with my boys because that's really aggressive sport right there. I don't know much about football and they can outrun me and oh I can kick a football now but I can't throw well I can throw but I'm not very good so whereas I might, might be used to be able to play with them I really can't play with them anymore there's not a lot of things I can really do with them anymore but I can definitely sit back and just watch them grow I'm running out of things to do with my kids. I mean, I can play, I don't like playing video games that much, but I can lose. I don't mind losing because I can lose, and, but you know, I'm still spending time with them. I mean, it's not much of a challenge for them. I can, I play Madden. I'll play Madden. I mean, I understand. I'll put it like this. I let the, I let the coaches pick my play. <laughs> I let the coaches pick my plays because <laughs> I got certain plays that I like that work for me, you know, certain running plays and stuff like that. So, I mean, I will tell you this. When I first met my husband, he didn't play video games at all. And he, uh, he, got, his, he, got, he got his behind monkey stomped in Madden when I first met him. He's, he'll, he'll, he'll say that he never that I never whooped him, but he's so full of crap, he got whooped. And after that, he just used to play all the time, and, you know, then, of course, he started beating me, and then it was... Then it was no fun anymore. But, hey, if you have the time to spend with your kids, spend a little time with them. Don't just let time slide and slip away from you, because it will. Time waits for nobody nobody it's gonna keep going and it's gonna keep going and time's just gonna keep on floating and sooner or later you're gonna look up and you're gonna realize that your child has changed and they done got bigger and you can't stop it but you can at least take advantage of the time you have so you want to make sure that you're doing that because you definitely don't want them to pop up and turn you know 18 19 on you be like hey mom um, I'm gonna get me my own house I got my son, I got my son, um, who's 15, telling my son, Mom, I'm studying for these license, or these permit. I said, okay. He told my son, yeah, Mom, I'm finna go get me a job so I can buy my own car. <laughs> my kids are something else, I tell you what. And it's, it's amazing that my kids can play with, by themselves, like, my boys are so close, but they fight like, oh my gosh, they fight. But, I mean, they get out here and they get to tackle football and tackle each other. I don't know what they're playing, to be honest. They're playing something crazy. What are y'all playing? Return man. Whatever that is, return man. So, that's what they're playing. But they'll do that. They'll play basketball um, together. And it's, it's amazing because they don't need anybody else to play with them. If somebody else wants to play, so be it. But if nobody, 
nobody comes or nobody wants to play, they don't care. They got each other to play. These are the Williams boys. And that's what they that's what the teachers call them. All right, them them that's them Williams boys. All right, y'all better leave them Williams boys alone. Oh my gosh, I remember we don't condone fighting at all. Like we just unless you're defending yourself, like we don't we don't like our kids to be able, be the ones to start fights and stuff. What you doing? Don't be coming over here taking my stuff. Anyways, y'all tired? All right then. No, stop running! I don't know. I never want to run. What do you mean? Why do y'all want? I ran. Well, you were All right. All right. Don't stop. Uh huh. It, no. It, Look, hey, who you arguing? Hey, 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 hey. Excuse. I know you better um, change your tone of voice, Mister. Who you talking to? <sighs> nah, you wanna tell, you wanna talk to me? Talk to me, but you ain't gonna talk to me like that. Not talking to me like you. Thing. Excuse me. I slid on here. Hey. Shut up, Shut it. Now what you said? Oh. Oh. I said Jaden, he, he let the button, the man walk right, like then was like this too. Jaden can't, Jaden gonna do this shit, tap him up and then let him go. Okay. No, oh, I was running, bro, look. If I start getting, he gonna start right. running fast. Who are you talking to? If I start getting, he gonna start hey. running. Hey. I'm talking to him. Hey, what are you doing? You better watch your tone of voice, buddy. Oh, Why you recording me? Yep. Hey, nice. So look, y'all wanted to come out here now. If y'all want to relax, yeah, relax. Look, Eric. Eric, talk ill like this. Bro, you can't catch. We not on cornerback. But look, he's scared to go walk wide receiver or cornerback. Bro, I can't. Well, Every time I go wide receiver, somebody throw it at my freaking foot. Bro, you can't catch? Yep, so I know you can't catch. Mom, catch I literally was hey, wide open. Hey, change your, Mom, change your tone of voice and go down at about four octaves. Nah, you can talk, but you're going to talk to me like you got some respect for me, too. Okay. You're not going to talk to me like you just anybody, so you be quiet. Now talk to me like you got some sense. So I and hurry up, because I'm trying to record a video. Go. So I was, I was over here, and like, I came over here, and Jane was way back there, and Jane and this dude still threw it to my foot. Okay, well, some people just can't aim good. Okay, try it again. Get back up and try it again. That's why your daddy say, if you're going to put y'all in football, it's going to be worse than that. You know how many times they got to run one play? Over and over and over and over. Same play. What's that? This is not pee. This is green tea. I brought stuff for myself. They drink. Did he say it's pee? Yeah, like if he ain't want it. I just said, give it to me. Let Eric. Hold on, excuse me. Let Eric. I'm not going to tell you another time. You got about two seconds to tone it, or you can go sit in the car all by yourself for the rest of the time. So you keep on talking trash, and you keep on acting like you ain't got no sense, and I'm going to send you to the car. Do you understand me? Huh? Yes. So you better tone it down a couple, baby, because I'm not. Look, I give it to you nice, and I'm going to give it to you mean. So how you want it? Good. And Jaden. That's enough, Jaden. That's my stuff. I I don't have to share with y'all. And I don't even want it because y'all drink out of it. I ain't even put my lips on it. I don't care. Now give some to him. Stop. I'm finna send y'all to the car. But you there. Oh, bro, I swear I'm gonna throw this junk at you. I don't even want that junk. Let me see. Yeah, I tell you. Mm -mm, I don't want it. <laughs> he don't like it. I like it. That's good. Why well, can't you go to the way? You complain. We only been out here for a couple minutes. You start asking me. They arguing. They. Shut up. I wish I could change this over so I can so y'all can see how he acting. Holy balls up. What you mad for? You want to fight? No, I'm. You want to take it to the grass? I was thirsty. My head freaking hurting. I'm thirsty at home and jump. Do you want to take it to the grass? Football? Me and you. Football. Uh-uh, ain't no football. No 
fight your own child? Am I gonna your fight youngest? my own child? I'm gonna wrestle my own child. Yeah. Your youngest. You, you talking to me like you can handle me? Child you gonna you talking to me like you can handle me? <laughs> so you want to do this? I, why would I fight my own mama? Because you talking to me, you disrespecting me like you want to fight. You talking to me like you can handle me. So if you I can't handle me, I advise you to tone it. I can't do nothing Shut by myself. Shut up. I'm really about to smoke your little peanut head behind compared to your body your head little. No, you just said all that because mama doing a video. That's why you go acting nah, nah. Act nah, nah. That's why you cry every time you something happen to you. Your body got a face on it. Your you arms. Head. Why your arms look like elephant arms? Do your ears look like you So, got this is what I have to deal with on a regular basis. But since I got a phone in my hand, I can't take them to the grass. But I will be more than happy to hand this to Jaden. Why you want to fight your own churn? Churn? Do you know what a churn is? What? That's how you make butter. You churn it. I said churn. And it's churn. Children. No, it's churn. It's churn. It's C-H-U-R-N. It's T-U-R-N. Churn. Turn. 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 It's yes. churn. You Mom, churn butter. Mom, give me butter. Turn come back. Butter. Mom, Sound give me to the handyway and come back. No. Because y'all can't catch. Nope. And it smell like it's finna rain. You didn't record that. You are seeing it. I'm in there, bro. Smell like it's finna rain. I'm recording. I ain't recording nothing to y'all. I'm tired of y'all arguing with each other and then y'all want to act like y'all ain't got no sense. Butter. Yep, that's the one. Who wanted to. What? So you trying to. You, you, that's what you, you want to do? Wait, what? You I asked you, did you want to take it to the grass? You going live? Yeah. Well, you going live right now? Yeah, why not? Is you going live? Everybody in their mama can see you. There you go. Here. Bruh, give me off the camera, bruh. Talk trash, don't they? So go ahead. Go out there. Here. Here. What, Gee? Huh? You ain't cute. Go. You see what I'm talking about? Uh, annoying. Oh, no, watch this. Watch it. Turn it. No, I ain't finna turn nothing. So, anyways, them, them Williams boys. They fight, but they can't live without each other. So I was telling y'all, we don't teach our children to um, start fights. So they went, and um, they was on the bus. They was a lot younger. This was years ago. And there was somebody, the bus driver, and she, said, she kept telling them, y'all leave them Williams boys alone because my kids don't bother nobody they cool and stuff but they don't bother nobody so they was on the school bus and somebody was bothering one of them I can't remember which exact one it was and all three of them well the one was bothering I think it was Jaden he was bothering um, Jaden, like trying to bully him because like, you know, like I said, my kids really like, they, re especially when Jaden was younger, he was real quiet, a lot quieter than he is now. And um, they was bothering him, picking on him and stuff like that. So it was, that was it. So we went to the bus stop and we seen this bus pulled over. They had sent the bus. And so I'm like, what's going on with this bus? It happened to me, my, my children, Somebody had picked a fight with one of my boys, and my one of my the one that was picking on was defending himself, and them other two jumped in. That's them Williams boys. They are very close knitted, very 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 close. But they argue. That's the crazy thing. Like they they talk like that to each other. They talk like that to each other, but they, like, one can't mess, can't nobody mess with them kids. That's them, that's them boys for you.
but they never start nothing. They'll never go and try to start nothing with nobody. Like, I can respect that. Now look at them. They back playing. Like, didn't they just come over here fussing, arguing, cracking on each other, calling each other peanut heads and bubble lards? And now look at them. They right back over there playing. <laughs> it's, like, it's like that all the time. But I'm going to tell you right now, the one thing they don't want to do, and I try to be a lady as much as I can, but I'll take them to the grass, and I'll quickly remind them they cannot handle me. We do uh, self-defense inside of our house where we'll teach our children how to, um, how to defend themselves, but like how to wrestle. Um... You know how to what what where you can how you can detain somebody without having to um like really 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 hurt them. You know we and we all go through the training. I do too. And Eric will sit in there and Eric will sit there and teach us. So we really really try to tell our boys please don't try to start no fights because our children know a little bit more than your regular throwing punches but back to what I was talking about you really want to spend time with your children I mean eventually they're going they all my, my boys are going to get past all that little arguing that John they do they're going to get past it and they're going to start getting along because you know they're getting past this little angry stuff and I can't believe my youngest son just said churn. <laughs> I don't say that. Where you got that from? I wish I could turn my camera so you can watch them, but I don't know why I can't do that. But it's amazing, the stuff they do. It's amazing. Okay, I think it's raining because, um, I, didn't I just say it was going to rain? It smells like it's gonna rain. You know, I realize about when you can smell rain, there's always this, rain always has a smell. And I'm like, what's the smell? Did you know it's dirt? That's so sad. Rain smells like dirt. Isn't it crazy? So when you smell dirt, normally it means it's gonna rain. But anyways, don't take for granted. Time don't wait for nobody. Don't take don't don't take advantage of it. Don't 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 take it for granted. Take advantage of it. You want to take advantage of the fact that you know they gonna grow up. You know, yeah, we not promised tomorrow, but these kids are gonna grow up. They are gonna grow old. They're not gonna be in your house. You know, so right now you have them. Right now you have you know in the house that you you have them with you. But when they get older. They're going to be there, but they're not going to be there. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to be in your house, you know. Your house is going to be completely spotless. And you're really not going to have anybody to clean up after or do anything for. And So, a lot of moms are probably like, oh, I would just love that. I can't wait for that. You can wait. You can wait. So look, y'all, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and remind you again, um, if you have not done so already, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, and select all so you do not miss any of the material that we drop. Also, like, share, and comment on this video. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And yes, it is raining. I knew it. See, I told you. So with that being said, y'all, we're going to catch y'all on the flip side.